I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. You got to have a plan. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got a goal. What's the plan? Make a choice. Like you just decide what it's going to be, who you're going to be, how you're going to do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is going to get out your way. I want you to stop dreaming and I want you to just start doing small things. I want you to go back to curiosity and less into crushing your big goals. And your plan has got to have something I call the C5 complex. Your plan has got to be clear, concise, compelling, consistent, and committed. You've got to have a plan. There, there, there's a concept that I don't want to be uh, an, an icon. Um, I want to be an idea. You know, I want to represent an idea. I want to represent possibilities, um, magic, right? That you're in a universe and two plus two equals four. Two plus two only equals four if you accept that two plus two equals four. Two plus two is going to be what I want it to be. I had two suits, man, that I had to wear every day for a year. One blue, one gray. The joke around the office started, oh, that's Chris Gardner, he's reenacting the Civil War. <laughs> some days with the North, some days he's with the South. <laughs> First step before anybody else in the world believes it is you have to believe it. There's no reason to have a plan B because it distracts from plan A. <laughs> Being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. Why would you be realistic? What's the point of being realistic? Baby steps count too as long as you're going forward. And one day you add all those baby steps up and you might be surprised at where you can get to. But more importantly, I remember something my mom used to say to me every day. She would say, son, the cavalry ain't coming. You got to do this yourself, ain't no backup. And when you're trying to do something that you're truly passionate about, there is no plan B. Following your dreams is a lonely, solitary, scary, dangerous pursuit. You can't wait for somebody to think you can do it. First and foremost, when you are steady and calm in yourself, it makes it easier to manage the insanity that other people are going to bring to you. The core of how things are created in the universe is through collision. You know, so you got to be prepared to collide if you want to create something. Only sustainable mission throughout your whole existence is to improve lives. And as soon as I made the shift in my mind from trying to be big and trying to have money and trying to be popular to making sure that I improved lives every step, step of the way on this earth, then all of a sudden I started experiencing healing. I was excited about uh, taking a shot. The fact that it was so strange as an artist, it was, it was uh, fun to get out on that, on that uh, you don't set out to build a wall. You don't set out to build the biggest, baddest, greatest wall that's ever been built. You don't start there. You say, I'm going to lay this brick as perfectly as a brick can be laid. And you do that every single day. And soon you have a wall. And soon you have a wall.